Tony Khan says his important AEW announcement is an exciting development for the company. Nikki Bella says Total Divas was the first thing WWE couldn't control, and WWE Sonya Deville gets engaged. Tony Khan will be making an announcement tonight on AEW Dynamite. However, in a recent interview, he kind of gave us a little bit as to what we might be able to expect. AEW head Tony Khan is holding his cards close to the vest regarding tonight's important announcement on Dynamite that was first promoted on last Friday's Rampage. Talking to the Phoenix New Times to hype up the promotion's debut in Phoenix, Arizona, he said, well, I can't tell you right now, but it's something I'm very excited about and it's great for the company. Whether it was regarding a second AEW New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door this summer, Khan didn't give any hints. Simply saying, quote, There are a lot of exciting things in the near future for AEW. All I can say is we have an important announcement coming at this show in Phoenix, and it's an exciting development for the company. And I'm excited to share it with the fans in Phoenix and all over the world. Khan has made big announcements on Dynamite before, notably his purchase of Ring of Honor, which came in March 2022. The company will have their first set of TV tapings this weekend and will officially relaunch their TV product in March on Honor Club. And Nikki Bella recently did an interview with Renee Paquette where she spoke about some of the resentment WWE had towards her and Brie regarding Total Divas. During the discussion, she noted that she felt WWE wasn't supportive of the success the Bellas were having in the reality television world. Nikki even said that when she and Brie won the Diva of the Year, the twins were yelled at in the back after accepting the award. Nikki said, Total Diva should have been praised even more. What we were doing was insane. We literally were at the point of almost beating the Kardashians in the ratings. We were shaking the world up. What a great time. We could have had the industry behind us, but instead they used it to turn it against us. She continued on by saying, As far as the boss, I felt it was the first time he lost control of what he could make and not make because when Brie and I won Diva of the Year, we got in trouble and I got yelled at. We came back so happy and it was like, oh, because you brought in all these new viewers and the women are voting for you and all of these new women are here. Everyone around was on the floor like, the Bella Twins are getting yelled at for being successful because it wasn't what they wanted because they were the storytellers. They push who they want the crowd to be behind. Perception is reality. That is WWE 2AT. Even though the fans think they own it, no, they laugh in the back. No, we own you at the end of the day. So I truly believe Total Divas was the first thing they couldn't control. Nikki was a cast member of Total Divas from seasons one through eight and also appeared as a guest on the ninth and final season. She then starred in and was an executive producer for six seasons of Total Bellas along with her sister. She has appeared as a judge on America's Got Talent, hosts Barmageddon, and stars in her own reality series, Nikki Bella Says I Do. Nikki and Brie Bella were both inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2020. WWE aired a WrestleMania 39 in Hollywood commercial that shared some sneak previews on some of the additional spoofs they will be doing, which included the Bloodline and Goodfellas, the Brawling Brutes, Andrew McIntyre and the 40-year-old Virgin, Rhea Ripley and Stranger Things, and several others. And congratulations are in order to Sonya Deville, who is now engaged. The 29-year-old SmackDown wrestler proposed to her girlfriend, fitness model Tony Cassano, on February 15th at a wine cellar cave in New Jersey. The couple told people all about it. The two met last April when Deville invited Cassano to a WWE show. Sonya Deville would continue to say that after she proposed, Cassano presented her with an engagement ring of her own. That is your quick episode of the latest for today. I will be back with more throughout the week. But in the meantime, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. And if you would like to chat more pro wrestling with me, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok at underscore Denise Salcedo.